Are you installing a brand new toilet and you're having some issues and you think that your flange might be a little too low? Well in this video we're going to show you how to raise it. Hey welcome to Plumbing Gurus. My name is Carson. On this channel we strive to save you money and keep you informed with all the proper plumbing practices. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and let's plunge into this. Alright, so right here we have ourselves a Master Plumber Extension Kit. We'll put a link in the description below for you to pick one of these up if you're looking for one. Um, so this is the kind of brand that we usually just buy. There's lots of different brands. It's not going to really matter as long as it's an extension kit. This one comes with silicone. If it doesn't come with silicone, you're going to want to have some silicone with you to make sure you seal it. We'll show you that soon. Uh, so let's just let's just get into this. All right. So the reason that we're going to want to actually extend this flange, and like I said at the beginning, was the the flange itself is sitting below the floor. So I just want you to come down here and take a look at why we're going to be changing this flange. So if you look here, this is actually sitting a little bit lower here. So if you go to put your your horned wax seal on here, it's probably going to be too low. So then a lot of times a lot of guys will actually just put on they'll put on another wax seal without a horn. So that's probably what the scenario was here, is they just put on a horned wax seal and then another one on top, they doubled up the wax, so there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, we just like to do the flange extension so it just adds more assurance that it is fully sealed and not just relying on the wax itself. So. Why don't we just get into this? Why don't we just get into this? Alright, so we're going to actually uh, take two of them. I'm thinking we're probably only going to use one, but we're just going to make sure to see what two will do, but we'll see what one does first. So we're going to come down here and take a look at it. So with one, I'm thinking, so if you push it down nice and tight, pretend like it's been screwed, it's fairly flush here, a little bit high over here, fairly flush here. So it's actually pretty flush all the way around. And then if you were to add another one, you're just going to be sitting a little bit higher. So like there's nothing wrong with having this second one on there. But for me personally, I'm, I'm just going to use the one because I like to have my flanges flush with the floor so that I can use the, the horn wax seal because that's our preference. Alright, so here's our, our flange extension. There's a little lip here. If you look there, you can see there's a lip. You're going to want that facing down. That's going to also help make the seal. So then we're going to grab some, some of the silicone that comes with it. We're just going to apply it all the nice thick bead all the way around. Any excess that comes out, if we need to, we can wipe it, but better to have a little bit of extra on there. When it comes to silicone, make sure you get a good seal. It's not on, on like a finished product, so it just doesn't matter if it spews out a little bit. You're better off having a good, nice amount of silicone. Okay, so now we're gonna drop it in. Boom. Push it down, set it nicely, make sure our, our bolts are still sitting there nice, we're nice and flush all the way around, we're just going to do So right now I don't have a big wide headed screw, so this screw is only a number 8. If I were to screw this screw all the way through here, it's just going to, through these holes that it comes with, it's just going to sink right through there. So I'm going to actually just make my own holes and it's going to, it'll just work out better for us. Got more power than my 18 volt. Okay, now that's screwed down. Let's uh, make sure everything gets silicone spewing through. Looks good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you got some value out of this one. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.